The next few weeks are going to be incredibly exciting. So get your calendars out, ladies and gentlemen, because the end of the second round of Mars One's astronaut selection process is rapidly approaching. On the 31st of January, the final interviews with Dr. Norbert Kraft, the head of Mars One's astronaut selection committee, will be taking place, after which he will spend about two weeks deliberating to decide who will pass to the third round of the selection process. The results will be publicly announced on February 16th, and I'll endeavour to release a special video within a few hours of the announcement in order to let you know whether I've passed to the third round of the selection process. But I'm sure you'll have plenty of questions about what comes next with the third round and indeed the rest of the selection process throughout 2015. So I'm going to be hosting a questions and answers session with Dr Norbert Kraft himself. After having worked for NASA, JAXA and Roscosmos over the past 20 years, he's an expert in long duration human space flight, crew selection and aerospace medicine. So I'm very excited about the opportunity to ask him your questions. If you have a question, just post it as a comment down below and I'll try to fit as many as possible into the 15 minute conversation with him. And you'll be able to watch it online on February 17th at around 1800 hours UTC. So what else has been happening over the past month? The big news is the announcement of the winner of the University Design Competition, SEED. This means that the first terrestrial life to grow on Mars, albeit in a container, will be Arabidopsis faliana, which has been extensively studied on the International Space Station. Now, of course, there's still a lot of challenges with designing a payload to go to Mars, not least of which is compliance with COSPAR's planetary protection policy. So if C does encounter any difficulties along the way, then the second or third place projects, Cyanonites or Mars Micro Greenhouse will proceed instead. Now, for those of you on the European mainland, I'll be visiting Belgium on Sunday, the 1st of February, to deliver a talk on Mars One at the FOSDEM 15 conference. It will be held at the ULB Saulbush campus in Brussels and is completely free and no registration at all is necessary to attend. And there'll probably be around 5,000 people in total there. So it's going to be very exciting. You can check out further details about it in the video description down below. And it will be great to see some of you there if you can make it when my talk begins at 5 p.m. But if you can't make it, don't worry because it will be streamed online and it will be recorded so you can watch it at a later date. Finally, one of my fellow Mars One candidates from over in the United States, Heidi Hecht, recently interviewed me online, which you can check out by Einstein over there. She's going to be producing more interviews with various Mars One candidates from all across the world in the near future, and she's already got a few online over at her YouTube channel, Mars Interviews, which I've posted a link to down in the video description down below. So be sure to take a look and give her some feedback. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in the latest news about the Mars One mission, I produce monthly mission updates just like this one, the previous six of which you can check out at the top there. I also produce videos on Mars exploration, human spaceflight, and space in general. This week's featured video is one of my first, all about what living on Mars might be like. You can check it out in the bottom left over there. And since we've just hit 500 subscribers, I've created a Martian Colonist t-shirt, which you can check out over there at the bottom right. Any and all proceeds from sales will be donated to Mars One in order to support future conceptual design studies for key mission enabling systems. And don't forget to send in your questions for Dr. Kraft and subscribe so that you don't miss his answers.